Let's do it again. So today we're here with David Keogh, who's the Australian creative consultant for John Frieda. He now lives here in Hollywood and works with some of the biggest names in the industry like Miranda Kerr, Amy Poehler and Alyssa Milano. Our beautiful model today is Australian actress Dina Kaplan. Hi. <laughs> and David is going to be creating a beautiful hairstyle on her today. David, what are we doing? Okay, so today I'm going to recreate uh, the look that I gave Miranda Kerr for the Vanity Fair Oscar party. I would call it my modern Rita Hayward <laughs> today. Perfect, that's one of my favourite looks. I'm going to let you get to it. Thank you. As you can see, we've just given Dina a beautiful blowout just to get the process started because you don't want to be watching it blow dry all the time. So, next step is going to be sectioning and then I'm going to take you through the step process of curling the hair. And I tend to sort of put the hair in and then wind it into the, to the scalp. I'm just going to put my hand in there so that burn. And a really good tip is to make sure that you've got all your stuff in front of you, all your pins, all your brushes, all your combs, all your curling irons, because the last thing you want to be doing is reaching to grab something when you've got a curling iron in your hair. It just becomes annoying. David, why do you use the curling tong instead of hot rollers for this look? I use the curling iron because I have a little bit more control with what I'm doing. I can, you know, the heat and all that sort of thing, and I can leave the ends out a little bit so they're not so perfect. Right. With a hot roller, you get more of a full curl, and you don't seem to have some, so much control. I like to also sort of mix up the size of the curling irons as well. I might put, like, I would class this as a, a three-quarter inch barrel. One, the other one I use is like a one to one and a half inch. It just sort of mixes it up, you know, and you get, get more of a, I suppose you'd call it more of an uneven curl. It doesn't yeah. look so precise. So as you can see, my sections aren't precise. They're not like one or the other. They're not like per perfection. They're just playing around here. So David, what's the reason behind having it all pinned up? The reason behind it being pinned up is just to keep the sort of the curl formed and shaped. It's sort of like a hot roller. It just needs to cool down in its place and let it set. Great, and what's the next step? The next step basically is we're just going to pull the pin, the curls out, and we're just going to brush it out, give a really good brush out. Awesome. So now I've pulled all the pins out of Dina's hair, I'm just going to give it a really good brush out, and uh, you'll see the end result. It doesn't matter what kind of brush you use? Uh, you just need to use like a good paddle brush or a Denman brush or a Mason, Mason Pearson brush. Just something that's fairly soft on the cuticle, not too sort of plasticky that's going to damage the hair. Now, I'm not looking for a particular volume at the top, I'm keeping it quite flat. I think I fell asleep before the Oscars did <laughs> <laughs> that to Yeah, well, Miranda does like the head massage. <laughs> I know. So there's a couple of different ways you can play with this. I sometimes go back over the top with curling iron if I want a little bit more wave up here, or a bit wave over here. But as you can see, as you brush it, you can actually keep it very formed and just create a beautiful wave like that. Well, David, Dana looks absolutely beautiful. You've done an amazing job. Thank you, thank you. And it's always so amazing and interesting to see that, you know, we often use different techniques to create the same look. And that's one of the most fun things about doing this for Carousel. I get to learn different techniques from my peers all the time. It's great. I think we've got to all got our own style. It's true. And we're always learning. That's exactly. all. Exactly. Trish, what to do. There you go. You're both amazing. Better.